Hi everyone, in this video we are going to find radius of convergence of two power series. So this is our first power series, let me mention we have our power series is summation n running from 0 to infinity n cube x raised to n. Okay, so we are familiar with the standard power series which is summation cn x raised to n. Okay, so this is the standard form of power series. So I will compare given power series with that one. So we can easily see our cn. Okay, so let me mention here cn that means that coefficient which is n cube here multiple of x raised to n is n cube. So our cn is n cube. Okay, so we have to find radius of convergence. Let me mention the formula. Basically radius of convergence is reciprocal of one constant alpha and the formula of alpha is limit n tends to infinity mod c n plus 1 upon c n. So this is a formula we have. Okay. See actually there is one more formula to find the value of alpha but here I am using this formula. Okay. So what we want c n we have similarly we want c n plus 1 also. So let us find c n plus 1. See it can be easily obtained by just replacing n by n plus 1. I am replacing n by n plus 1. I got this one. Then let us find the value of alpha. I am using that formula limit n tends to infinity mod c n plus 1 upon c n. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity mod c n plus 1 is this one n plus 1 cube divided by c n is n cube right. Okay. So let us continue this here that part here. Let me remove this one. This is equal to limit n tends to infinity getting see there is no need of mod since n is a natural number n plus 1 is also natural number so there are no chances of getting any negative number so simply i will remove that mod and one more thing the numerator has power 3 denominator also having a same power 3 so we can write a common power so that means n plus 1 by n cube so let us divide separately so limit n tends to infinity, I am dividing separately n upon n 1, 1 by n cube. So if I apply the limit, okay, if I apply the limit, what will happen here, I need to put infinity and 1 upon infinity is 0. So that's why its value will be 1 plus 0 cube, which is 1 itself, right? So this is value of alpha, this is not radius of convergence, getting? So using this alpha, we can find radius of convergence, then radius of convergence r is equal to which is equal to 1 by alpha our alpha is 1 so 1 by 1 is 1 so the radius of convergence of given power series is 1 so make a screenshot of it then we will go for the next example so the second power series is summation 2 raised to n upon n factorial x raised to n so let us copy let us write the given power series then we will find its radius of convergence so we have let me write the series first summation n running from 0 to infinity 2 raised to n upon n factorial x raised to n. Okay. So again, I will use the same formula. First of all, we will find the value of alpha using this formula and then we will take its reciprocal and we will get the radius of convergence. Uh, Cn. Okay. So let us write Cn. Cn means what? Cn means, uh, let me write a standard form. So this is Cn x raised to n. So this is standard form of power series. Cn is a multiple of x raised to n. So what is multiple of x raised to n here? Let me write. What is multiple of x raised to n? Its multiple is 2 raised to n upon n factorial. As well as we want Cn plus 1 also. Let us find Cn plus 1. It can be easily obtained just by replacing n by n plus 1 everywhere. Okay. So I got this Cn plus 1. So let us use that formula. Then alpha is equal to, I am writing the formula, limit n tends to infinity mod cn plus 1 upon cn. Now what will I do? I will put the values there and uh, we will try to simplify and we will find the value of limit. Limit n tends to infinity cn plus 1. What is cn plus 1? This is 2 raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 factorial whole divided by cn. cn is 2 raised to n upon n factorial. 
see we have 2 raised to something factorials are there so we will never get negative numbers so that's why no need to write mod since all numbers are positive uh, let us write here the remaining part of this problem okay so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity let me write this 2 raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 factorial into see actually we have this 2 raised to n upon n factorial in denominator if i write a multiplication there actually division is there right i am going to replace it by multiplication that means we need to interchange numerator denominators so n factorial upon 2 raised to n so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity 2 raised to n plus 1 that means 2 raised to n into 2 this 2 has a power 1 getting so if you multiply we need to add the power so n plus 1 divided by n factorial n factorial n sorry n plus 1 factorial that means actually n plus 1 into n into n minus 1 in this way we take the product and we stop at 3 into 2 into 1 this will be the last terms that is nothing but n plus 1 into n factorial getting now n into n remaining terms is nothing but n factorial it means the given factorial n plus 1 factorial can be expressed in this way let us do so n factorial n plus 1 factorial can be written as n plus 1 into n factorial we have n factorial here and we have 2 raised to n here so let us see which terms we can cancel n factorial n factorial will get cancelled 2 raised to n 2 raised to n will get cancelled so the remaining part is limit n tends to infinity 2 upon n plus 1 so see if you apply the limit denominator will go to infinity getting and the numerator is fixed 2 so if denominator goes to infinity the value will be 0 uh, so this is equal to this is equal to see what will I get 0 okay so this is value of alpha so then then radius of convergence r is equal to this is 1 by alpha so while value of alpha we have got 0 so 1 by 0 which is infinity so the radius of convergence infinite that means the given power says is convergent over all real line getting for, uh, for each real number x so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you